So it's not often that I get a question from a reader who essentially is going to make me play mental ping pong for the next couple of minutes for you. But that's exactly what happened uh, with a guy named Ari Barsky. And he, he, he just promoted an affiliate offer and he's about to promote another affiliate offer and his bonuses are exactly the same. And, and so he asked me, he said, you know, my bonuses are, are basically similar. Does that reduce the appeared value of the bonuses? And I really have two conflicting thoughts on that. And so the answer is maybe. The answer is it depends. The answer is, well, yes and no. And I could go both ways, honestly. So I'm going to give you my thinking here. And then I want you to decide. I want you to decide for you, for your audience, does... Do you have the same bonuses? Do you not have the same bonuses? And then I'm going to give you kind of the ultimate answer that I believe is the right answer. You know, the first side on the one hand is it really doesn't matter because the main attraction is the promotion of the product itself, the affiliate product. So you're promoting, let's just say Ray Edwards course. You're promoting Ray Edwards course, Copywriting Academy. That's your focus. Bonuses are just that. They're bonuses. You know, they're add-ons. It's kind of like, Honestly, we don't subscribe to Amazon Prime for the fact that we get Amazon Prime on our Roku. I we didn't even I don't think we even knew about it for like the first two years we had Amazon Prime. We found out it's like oh sweet, and I've discovered you know Man in the High Castle. Love that show. Uh, we've we found some great stuff through Amazon Prime. That's not why we get Amazon Prime. And honestly, if they you know ask us to renew next year, we're not renewing because of that. That's a bonus. So the, the, the crux of it, the fact that we pay $99 a month to get two-day shipping on almost everything, that's that's worth the 99 bucks. If they came to us, you know, like next year and said, will you renew and you're getting the same bonuses, well, we're going to still renew. And, and so it may not be the best example, but that's, you know, again, you're looking at the core promotion. But at the same time, a great bonus can be a reason to buy. You know, I'm not so sure about this course, but look at these bonuses I'm going to buy. So on the other hand, I'm not so sure they should be exactly the same. And this is one of the reasons why I love bonuses like, well, I'll go through the course with you. Because if you think about it, it's the same, but it's completely different because we're going to go through, say, you know, Josh Turner's appointment generator, or we're going to go through Michael Hyatt's five days to your best year ever. Those are completely different products. And me going through you with them for a year is not the same experience, even though I'm offering the exact same bonus. So look at it that way. You know, it really does kind of depend. So the ultimate answer is that I would try as best as possible not to just recycle the exact same bonuses. Sometimes it makes sense. Sometimes, you know, like I've got two promotions that I promoted. The products are pretty similar. And my bonuses are exactly the same with the exception of the I'll go through it with you option. I offer uh, my no product, no problem course and my seven figure affiliate launch course in both. They're both courses have those as bonuses because they, they, they match the course. I am not going to create like, what am I going to do? Create some like different bonus. It just wouldn't make sense. Those fit. And then others, I have different bonuses that come with it. And then over here, I have these. So really, I think the ultimate answer is I would come up with a list of six to 10 bonuses plus the I'll go through it with you or, you know, like Ray Edwards has done where he creates a specific bonus for that product. Usually it's not like a 20 hour ordeal to create it. It's, you know, a supplementary thing, a supplementary course or a few extra modules, maybe uh, an email series, something like that. And you have those six to 10 kind of core bonuses that you do repeatedly offer two, three, four, five of them in your bonus package. And then they're not, so it's not always exactly the same. But keep in mind that when you go to your audience and you are promoting course A and or product A and product B, and then you come out with your bonuses, most, of, most people are not going to look and go, those are the same bonuses you offered last time. I'm not buying especially if they didn't buy the last course. Now, you might have a circumstance where it's like they bought the last thing and then they go, well, these bonuses are no good. Well, then they're not going to buy. I mean, big deal. It's really not that big of a deal. So, and most people aren't going to buy, especially we're talking high dollar courses. They're not going to buy back-to-back courses, you know, within a few weeks of a year. They want to go through course A before they go through course B. So, Ari, 
Hope that answers your question. Again, like I have kind of conflicting thoughts. I want to keep it simple, and I think the simplest way is to have that list of bonuses, whether it be four or ten or whatever. You have your list. You go through them you know, regularly. You pick the ones that fit, but again, adding something that's unique, and it could be as simple as I'm going to go through the course with you, or I'm going to, you know, I'm going to give you a three video series that complements this. I'm going to supplement this with uh, a specific training. Sometimes it's as simple as a 30 minute video that's specific to your audience. So if you have an audience, say, of real estate agents, that's your audience. And this course is all about um, copywriting. You know, again, going back to Ray Edwards. Well, I'm going to give you my templates for real estate agents, and I'm also going to give you a supplementary training. It could be it could be a simple webinar. It could be one live webinar where you just go through some training specifically for real estate agents. That's a killer bonus that you could argue is worth thousands of dollars, and yet it's simple for you to do. So think of it in those terms. You could rinse and repeat some of the same ones over the course of a year, but then offer maybe one unique one each time. I'm Matt McWilliams from mattmcwilliams.com. And if you're watching this anywhere other than mattmcwilliams.com, make sure to head on over there. I've got tons of free resources for you. Whether you're looking to do like R, you're looking to make more in affiliate commissions, or you're looking to grow your own affiliate program, I've got tons of free resources for you there at mattmcwilliams.com. I'll see you there, and I'll see you in the next video.